Um, as we get started, I just wanted to invite people to have their phone handy, sometimes in programs, so I don't want you to do that, but we're gonna have a little exercise uh, to make it fun in just a bit. And um, so what I wanna do is actually share my screen here to uh, create together a word cloud about uh, emotions that you might be experiencing, whether it's in the job search itself, some of you may be in jobs and considering a career change. I understand there may be a, a wide range of people, people starting businesses or retiring or deciding to focus on hobbies. Uh, so I'll try to make it broad, uh, but uh, emotions can play a role in success in so many things. So I want to go ahead and share my screen. I hope you have your phones out. And so uh, this, is our opportunity to create a word cloud together. And you can see at the top, I want you to go to your browser and type in www.menti.com. I'll spell it because it might be small uh, on, uh, for you to see, www.menti.com. Thanks, Ron, for putting in menti.com. And then you'll have the opportunity, uh, it will prompt you, to share, so hopefully you've been thinking about it as I've been talking, um, emotions that you might be experiencing in the job search, or it could be in career change, or, or even retirement. And any, really, emotions play a part in our life and trying to cope with them to stay resilient. So uh, you have an opportunity to list three emotions, and uh, we'll be seeing what we'll create together. So you could go ahead. Uh, and hit uh, submit. If you've started on emotions, try to just kind of go with your own thoughts about some emotions that you've uh, either are experiencing, have experienced in the past, and we'll be creating this together. So if anyone has questions, put it in the word cloud. Hopefully we're all technically okay enough. You can do it on your computer if you don't have a phone, uh, but it's a little easier when you do it separately on a phone. So. That's great, so keep moving forward. And if you are done, you can actually go in and put uh, three more emotions. So I invite you to uh, think about your own experience or what you've experienced in the past. They could be positive or negative. We've got a nice mixture here, hope and optimism, as well as uncertainty and discouragement. If anyone's having technical problems, please put it in the chat and we'll troubleshoot that. A few more here, frustration, optimism, impatience. That's a range. You can see we're not even overlapping because there are so many things that we could experience through this time. Um, and really, you know, emotions are even more wide ranging during pandemic times going into the third year here. Uh, but the ups and downs really are natural and normal, but the goal is to manage them, to stay resilient and stay positive. And that's what we're gonna be focusing on is understanding some of the emotions and then staying resilient uh, and figuring out a way to get positive because it's okay that you might not have any more Positivity. So we've just got such a wide range. There's not a lot of overlap. If anyone wants to put some more in, uh, that is fine. We'll just do this for probably 30 more seconds. I think if you don't have three in, you can still hit submit. And why don't you do that? And uh, we're going to move us out of here. And I'll be saving this. I'll probably send it to Ron and Millery if anyone wants to post. I don't know in your social media if you can have a, an interesting, attractive screen share. So, right. So you're such a diverse group. Usually we get, what do we get? Okay, I love it. I love it. I love all these different things. Nervousness, control, curious, hope, optimistic, discouragement. So I'm going to stop the share here. And um, I don't know if it will continue to show up or not, but I want to bring us back and to sort of set the stage related to this topic 
of staying resilient, but kind of rooted in all these different emotions in the search. I, I'm just going to read one excerpt from, from the book. And so, uh, as was mentioned, Help Wanted, an A to Z guide to cope with the ups and downs of the job search. Uh, so I, I'm gonna read just the one page uh, excerpt on emotions. And so it's set up with an inspirational quote, a reading and then an affirmation because really the power of our thoughts are significant in our success and whatever we do, the job search, career change, your own business, your own passion hobby. So I'm starting with a quote from Elizabeth Gilbert. Your emotions are the slaves to your thoughts, and you are the slave to your emotions. The job search can bring a roller coaster of emotions. It may begin with confusion about goals or anger about a past or current job. A great fitting job lead can bring hope, and an interview can bring excitement or fear. Waiting to hear back after interviews and emails can bring frustration. Over time, Lack of job search success and financial concerns can bring depression or despair. Then there may be another lead and another round on the roller coaster. Recognize that all of these emotions are normal and natural for job seekers and everybody really. Allow yourself to fully feel your emotions in a safe way. Negative emotions that are bottled up often seep out during an interview or are the reason for not getting positive responses to networking requests. So punch a pillow, write in a journal, or share with a select group of trusted friends or support group. Consider meeting with a career counselor or therapist. Keep taking care of yourself, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, and hang on for the ride. And the affirmation at the end is, I take care of myself and stay grounded through the ups and downs. So again, that's from my book, Help Wanted, an A to Z guide, which you can learn more about in my, um, on my website if you want to.